ultimate slopes, seven dimensions. Faster than five of the same, search warrant. More powerful than a prosecutor on speed. Two hits from the bomb and he's hiding in a DEA helicopter. All right, everything on. We got Facebook. This is my Facebook page, my personal page on. We got Instagram, my personal Instagram. We got the YouTube page that we're going to edit, and we got the YouTube page live. So here we go on all platforms. NJ Weed Band, and I'm the host of today's show, of all my shows, Get On The Cannabis. And for those of you who haven't tuned in, the reason why I call it Get On The Cannabis, I'm calling up my Rosa Parks, man. Rosa Parks refused to get off the bus, and she refused to get to the back. And that's how I feel about this new cannabis business, the new cannabis business is going on. I refuse to get off this kind of business. I'm one of these people that, hey, I feel like I'm in the existing marijuana market, and the existing marijuana market is being excluded with this new legalization schemes of our politicians. Our politicians who, by the way, if you ask me, they've been paid off to write the laws for the can of baggers. That's why there's no home grow in New Jersey. That's why the little guys can't sell. They want these big Walmarts of weed. So anyway, there's a bunch of news today. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, we filed a lawsuit about two weeks after the ballot. The ballot initiative was filed, okay? People voted yes for legalization. Little did they know when they read it, he wasn't really legalizing marijuana. He was legalizing regulated cannabis. And regulated cannabis, where do you get regulated cannabis from? the big corporations, the Walmarts of weed. So most of the little people, most of the people, the citizens who went and voted for legalizing marijuana really didn't understand that they weren't really legalizing marijuana. You were legalizing regulated cannabis. And sure, maybe a lot of them really were voting for regulated cannabis. But most people, if you ask me, when I talk to people, they thought they were voting for legalizing marijuana, like any weed in their pocket, any weed they get from their buddy down the street, they thought they were voting for that to be legal. But that's not what it is. What you voted for, the scheme, the plot, was for regulated cannabis. And like I said, regulated cannabis comes from the corporate guys that, that the politicians were writing the laws for them. All right, but anyway, a couple weeks after that ballot initiative, I did file a lawsuit. N.J. Weedman versus Phil Murphy, the governor of New Jersey. And part of the reason I filed was because of the questioning. The question, the ballot question, I think, was a hoodwinking, a bamboozlement, a bait and switch. You know? So, I don't know. I filed this lawsuit. They were supposed to have 20 days, that's standard, 20 days to respond. Well, on about the 25th day, the, the Attorney General answered for the governor, and they really didn't answer. They asked for a 30-day extension, which will put it somewhere in the mid-January. Mid so we're waiting on the state's answer. I think that delay was so that they can put certain things in place also. We'll see how it happens, you know. We'll see what happens. But, um, I don't know, I've put, I've, I've written I've put my lawsuit online where people can read it, you know? And in the credits here, I'll write it again. Um, and on my Instagram and my YouTube, I'll make sure when you watch the replay, there'll be a link to the lawsuit. So read the lawsuit, you know? I want people to read it to understand where I'm coming from. I know there's some haters out there that think that I'm just hating and I want to file a lawsuit just to, you know, throw some shit in the game. But no, I'm a little guy, I'm a black marketeer, and what I'm arguing for is inclusion of the little guys. Again, it goes back to this name. I'm not getting off this cannabis, you know? And listen, wanna hear something crazy? We have a guy in the audience, 
a lawyer in the audience who wanted to come, who I want, who I asked if he can come on the air for a few minutes and just kind of give his little evaluation of this. He's already written about it. He's already read it. You know, so at this time, I'm going to invite my guest on the show. And like I said, he's a special guest. Come on over here. Kev, how are you? I'm well, Ed. How you doing? I'm all good. I'd like so, to thank you for having me on your show tonight. Yeah, man. Uh, thank you. I'm honored to be here. Let me adjust the camera a little bit to make sure you're included. Hey, we got to get a little closer, man. Okay. And, and history is changing with regard to weed, too. Yeah, That's a marvelous yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Look, 30 years ago, you know, like I couldn't imagine across the street from the state capitol to, oh, yeah. to the city hall selling weed. Not even 30 years ago. I would say five years ago. Yeah. This would be like an alien spaceship dropping down in Trenton and the fucking aliens will. I mean, this, this place is Amsterdam and Trenton. Uh -huh. it's, I mean, you, it's, a, it's a smoke shop in the middle of downtown Trenton. It's the only, as, as I can see as a visitor to, the, to this city, it's the only thriving business on this street. You know, uh, On this street, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's very safe here. We're right across the street from City Hall, so there's plenty of police protection, plenty of surveillance. I mean, that's yeah, really yeah. all you need. Yeah, there's two big, ca the there's place. two big cameras right, yeah, yeah. right on State Street. Yeah. They probably watch my in my yeah. door in and out every yeah. day. No, but I, I mean thirty years ago. Me. I mean thirty years ago. Yeah, this this yeah this wouldn't exist. No, yeah, yeah you'd, you'd have to fly to Amsterdam for this. this right. would, yeah. So, Kev, how do you say your last name again? Uh, Fluke. Kevin, Kevin Fluke, Fluke yeah. Esquire. Yeah. Yeah. He's a lawyer, people. He's been a lawyer for how long? I graduated uh, Seton Hall in 2006. 2006, uh, okay. So I, it's I practiced 14 for about 10 years, and mm -hmm. the last couple of years I haven't practiced. I do other things. I'm now a, a journalist, a writer. Yes. Um, but yeah, I practiced yeah. for about 10 years. I did which, civil litigation yeah. uh, with a big firm, represent a lot of big companies. Um, which is why you're a guest today, why I asked yeah, you. you. Because he's a writer now, but he's a lawyer. He's a trained lawyer, and he's doing gonzo journalism now. He's writing. You know, we can we can we can we can put your I, link. To I, your... I we we both have crazy stories, and yeah. I, I go into crazy legal legal dramas. That I get myself into, and then I write about it. And uh, New Jersey Weedman's joint, your place, is one of those things that uh, yeah. I, I that I've experienced in my life. And you happen to file a lawsuit, and here we are. Yeah. So he read he read my lawsuit, the actual draft, before we uploaded it, and filed it. So, what do you think? You already read. I'll need to hand it to you. Okay. you what, what, what do you think for for the audience? Because I know a lot of people saw that I filed this lawsuit. There was a couple newspaper stories locally. It actually got more attention nationally than it did locally. But people heard about it, and but the state hasn't responded. Nobody's like you know local papers haven't really talked about it. So what, what, what do you think as a trained lawyer after reading it? Well. I think it's the most brilliant act of civil disobedience that has happened in this country since Henry David Thoreau went to the woods in Massachusetts and lived in a forest for two years. I think it, it raises a number of points about the, the manifest injustice of what is going on in this country uh, with regard to businessmen, business people, mostly white, making fucking millions and millions of dollars a year on a fucking plant that Ed and, and his people and, and, and lots of fucking people have gone to jail for and are still in fucking yeah. jail it, this what, this for a goddamn plant. I'm and I'm sorry if I'm mad. I'm going to smoke this joint. It's going to calm me down. You can, you can but, be that, but your question was, what do I think of a lawsuit? I think it's brilliant. Uh, I think it's well written. I think you, you, you make a number of legal points. Sorry, I'm... I'm uh, it's no, I'm not, I'm not, yeah. You're all good, okay. you're all good. Alright, first, the state has to respond, right? They, have, they, they, they missed the response date. They didn't even ask the judge for permission to do that. So well, they waited until they were already late. Yeah, so... And then so, asked if they could so get So that's like, that's like, Ed, you sued the state, they didn't, even, they didn't have the courtesy to respond. Then they sent a letter to the court and said, "Look, we're late. Give us another 30 days." So now they're gonna now they're gonna respond to it. They're gonna try to dismiss it. They're gonna file a motion to dismiss. Uh, I don't want to. If you want me to get into what I think of the legal arguments, the technical legal well, arguments, well, I, I do think, you think is a frivolous suit? Hell no. All right. 
do you think the state has a problem answering this? Yes. 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 For a number of reasons. So you think it's valid? I'm bringing up valid issues and valid, valid scenarios. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, the, the I mean, the state. The, your lawsuit raises a number of points, number number of arguments. But the first one is that you think there was a bait and switch with regard to the ballot question. Said, do we have legal weed? And um, the 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 way they explained it was leap was what we really mean is regulated cannabis and we get to decide what regulated cannabis is. So everyone goes to the ballot thinking legal thinking we're gonna legalize weed. Sixty seven percent of the state vote for it, uh, which is more than probably any politician in New Jersey has ever gotten, right? Because people love weed, we don't have to discuss that. And then they're like, well, no, wait a second, it's actually regulated cannabis. We get to decide what that is. We get to decide who sells it. And everyone else who is, sell who is selling weed, which the people thought were legal, those people we can put in jail if we decide to or if we don't. Because right now we selectively enforce the marijuana laws. So that's, that's your first argument. Your, and I think that's brilliant. Yeah. And I think they're going to and they're gonna try to get it dismissed. They're going to file a motion to dismiss. Mm -hmm. And so what? I think that is going to be decided. It has nothing to do with marijuana at that point. It's the wording. Yeah, that's a legal question yeah. for a judge to decide. Yeah, I think and, the yeah. judge is going to take yeah. that seriously. The wording of the question is its a valid thing. Yeah. Like they're doing a bait and yeah. switch. But, but it's not just a question for the judge to decide. I think it might also be a question for a jury to decide. Because you, you would get 12 people up there and say, what do you think? Did you, did you, you, know, did you vote for weed? Did you vote yes? Okay, what do you think you were voting for? See what see what half of them say, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but but, uh, but yeah, I think you have a valid point. I think the states are Now your your other argument in there is a, is a, is, a, is an argument under the United States Constitution that um, your your that the state of New Jersey is violating your your right to due process as well as as well as your right to equal protection over the law, which we are all granted under the under the Constitution of this great country. And and you make a couple arguments uh, with respect to that. You say, look, you're selectively prosecuting the federal marijuana laws because right now it's a Schedule One drug. Right. But there's guys in Montclair making millions selling it, and there's you know black yeah. kids from Trenton in fucking cages for selling it. Exactly. Hey, judge, take a look at this and say, take a look at the Constitution and you know yeah. what's going on here. Yeah, so yeah, I, I think you have a great case. Selective yeah. prosecution. It goes on all over the country, but I I never saw anybody attack the argument that way. Even though I've seen other lawsuits, I can remember feeling this way for years. As I listen, I got a jail cell, I got a prison cell, and then I look and I'm watching these other guys sell, mm. and they're allowed to sell. Yeah. Even when when. When uh, 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 Kuma, the Compassionate Use of Medical Marijuana, was passed here in New Jersey, I was living in California at the time, but I still ended up watching it and saying, wait a minute, so these guys get to violate federal law with state protection, and they get to sell marijuana, they get to grow marijuana, they get to distribute marijuana, where at the time, in 2010, I was actually being prosecuted for marijuana. And since then, I've been prosecuted once or twice for marijuana. Not fully, because once or twice the state backed off after they knew they was going to lose their case, but that's a whole other story for another show. Yeah. But that's how I feel now, also, as I'm watching this new cannabis industry that they're saying they're creating from scratch, you know, which is, it's like, it's like Christopher Columbus all over again. You know, Christopher <laughs> Columbus came to America and was like, oh, I discovered America, look what I found. And there were millions of people here. These guys that call themselves the cannabis industry, I feel the same way. Like, there's a marijuana industry. We had to duck and hide and hide from the police and this, mm -hmm. that, and the other. But mm -hmm. guess what? We mm -hmm. built up a, a, a customer base that's, that's unheard of. It's unright. Here in New Jersey, there were 800 to 900,000 people who claimed to yeah. regularly smoke marijuana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. only 9 yeah. million people in the state. So you're saying 10% of the state is already being serviced oh, by yeah. guys like... Me. My weed dealer is like one of my best friends. Yeah, exactly. she, she introduced, not my other weed dealer, she, yeah. she introduced hey, me. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> hey, on me, I haven't man. seen her in a while. I, I haven't seen you, her in a while. Uh, no, again, no, again, no homo, but uh, what? You no, cheating on me? I'm mean, your weed man. I mean, oh. I mean she, I've known her. She's, she's one of like the few people in my life who so I've known for the last... Yeah, weed woman. So weed you woman. got a weed woman. Yeah, weed woman. Okay, and okay. Uh, she's one of the few people in my life who I've kept in touch with over the last 15 years or so. And, you know, because... Uh, because I, I see it regularly, but in any event, 
Yeah, she introduced me to my wife. She's a very close friend of mine. But in the eyes of the law, she's a fucking criminal for providing me medicine. You yeah. know, and and I know people say and oh, say she should be allowed in this new industry oh, too, for just sure. like me. Oh, she's struggling. She lost yeah. her business because of COVID, and she's fucking struggling. Yeah, she's. I mean. Yeah, uh, Listen, you know what I mean? Like, I am, her. in a way, I do feel guilty coming here and not there, you know, but... <laughs> tell her to put a sign up saying yeah. I'm selling weed like a white. Yeah. I don't know if she's white she or not. She's white, yes, she's but, dying. But we, yeah. know what it, we know what I'm arguing about anyway. Tell her to put a sign up and start selling weed. Yeah. <laughs> they use the weed man defense. Yeah. Jury nullification. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, that's another Yeah, that's, a, that's another... Yeah, that's, that's another... Yeah. And that's why... Um, that's my, that's my mm -hmm. ultimate threat, though. When they talk, when the prosecutors and things, when they think about me, they have to... Realize the big thing in the in the, on the living room table with me if they try to prosecute me is the whole jury notification argument. They know I'm going for it. They know I'm trying. I'm trying to wiggle my way into a jury just nullifying the law. So eh, but that's a yeah, that's a, that's a topic for another story, another another day, another another episode. I mean the nullification issue. You're rolling the dice. You know what I mean? You you, you got You got You never know. A jur I mean, as a lawyer, I've never. Do I don't know. I, I, I sat in on one jury trial once. So the second chair, I didn't have to argue it, but I, I was there. And uh, what the lawyer told me is, you never know what a jury's going to do. Even if you have like the best case going in there, True. you know. And and the, the the worst. The other side is that I've seen people go in with awful cases and walk away with like three million dollars. You know. So it's you're rolling the dice. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have a pretty good track record of um, convincing juries that marijuana laws are bullshit, and they agree with you. Um, and is this how this is all going to end? Like, are you going to, you know, um, you know, are, are they going to arrest you? And are, are, is there going to be some kind of fucking crazy show trial? And is it going to be you versus the jury? I and mean, that's one way this could end. Another way this could end is they just leave you alone. Like, um, I can't see they that. Could, they could come Not in here. Forever. The department, you know, they, like they could, they could find some way to fuck with you. But it's, yeah. it's all going to be a pretext for for this. You right. Know what I mean, because they don't right. want to deal with this. Right. They don't want to, like, they don't want a judge saying, like, yeah, we're fucking cool with like that billionaire making ten million dollars a year selling weed. But like, yeah, that sixteen-year-old black kid over there, put him in a fucking cage. Yeah. Who, what judge is going to write that decision? Right. So right. they're going to get. They're going to try to be like, oh, like, you know, he doesn't pay his taxes, or like, there's not enough fucking masks in here. You know what I mean? They're going to do some shit like that. I mean, but Murphy's, you know, to his credit, Murphy's a progressive guy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I get like it. so I, I don't. You know, I think it's, it's ultimately going to be his call. It's, it's ultimately his call. The city of Trenton. Yeah. So it's ultimately going to be Murphy's call. So good. If Murphy's gonna fuck with you, we're having some work done, y'all. If y'all hear that loud noise, it's a drill outside. Nobody's dildo went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to joke. Yeah, that's all. I'm trying to joke. Um, I I just think I just think it's crazy that 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 really is the law. They're making it for these corporations, these rich guys. We're getting ready to develop the Walmarts of weed and sell yeah. marijuana, yeah, and the yeah. local guy yeah. who's got an ounce or two of weed and wants to sell it to somebody around the corner is still criminalized. Yeah. And the real shame is, is that, like, the Walmarts of weed won't be nearly as cool as this. Like, this place, you know what I mean? Like, you give away free weed, you have your weed raffle, you, you give away ounces of weed, there's a garden out back with a fire pit and a koi pond, and mm -hmm. interesting people hang out here. Yeah, I mean, I've met music. artists, I've met, yeah. I've met retired state workers, you know, I've met people from all, all different colors, all different uh, income, you know, I've met poor, poor people and I've met really rich people here, you know? Like, this is a fucking cool place. Like, McWeed, McCush is gonna fucking <laughs> suck. Like, do you wanna get your weed from a fucking Starbucks? Or do you wanna get your weed where the fucking cool people hang out? Yeah, and, exactly. and here's what I'll go even further. If we have a world where it's only fucking Walmarts of weed, you're gonna you're gonna destroy the coolness. Like you need you yeah. need a place for the this artists is a whole to culture. hang out. Yes, the yes, yes, yes. And it's a good culture. Yes. It should not be stomped out by a fucking by corporate, corporate culture. culture. Yes. Yeah. This what this why I lived in LA. There were eight hundred dispensaries in LA, right? And I would I can remember going out to to, to, to to West LA and they had all these big corporate things and I didn't like them. I would go down to South Central or out in the valley and there'd be places kind of similar to this. There'd be some type of culture there, whether it was reggae music playing, whether it was some salsa music, whether it was some... So I went to this Serbian, but not Serbian. Um, what are the Kardashians again? 
or um, Armenian. I went to this Armenian place one time in LA. In fact, I went there more than once because I love this place. They had the Armenian music, they had all this culture to it, and all this weed. They had these bongs, these chalices in there that, that to me, like, like when you look at like the old Turkish movies or something, yeah. and you see these, that's how they, that's how their place was. And I liked this, so I came back a couple of times. But the Walmarts of weed, the big corporate things that were all aesthetic and people wearing yeah. white jackets yeah. and holding tongs yeah. and, and there was no music playing. Yeah. I didn't like those. I don't care how good their weed was. Yeah. I didn't like going there. And, here's and the, that's what they're trying to yeah. create here. Yeah. And you're dealing with plants too. Like you want to have different types of growing operations going. If it's all corporate places, they're all going to be following the same rules, using the same technologies. That's how corporations work. They all just kind of figure out what's the cheapest thing and they all right. copy each other. Exactly. So the, the plants, that's not good for the plants. Like you want people, you know, like, oh, let's grow it here. Let's see what happens to this. Let's build this kind of greenhouse. Like, right. it's a great plant. Like, let it grow. It's a fucking weed. And here's another thing. Because it's a weed, it should cost like what oregano costs, right? The yes. only reason it's so fucking expensive is because it's been illegal. So yes. what the politicians are doing is say like, oh, eventually we're going to tax it at like $60 an eighth or something like that. Sixty. They're keeping it. They're just taking all that fucking money. And that keeps the people fucking poor. Let them grow their fucking weed and then they save having to pay all that money to the, to the, to the government mm -hmm. to do God knows what with it. You know what I mean? Like it's a goddamn plant. It's easy to grow. It is. What do we do? It's 2020. Like there might be a fucking nuclear war, and we're worried about people growing plants. You know what I mean? Like, like, like that. That's how 2020 started. Remember? Yeah. We, yeah. That's how I met you. Mm -hmm. I came. In, this is not. This is serious. I came here two day, one or two nights after the United States military dropped a fucking bomb on some general in Iran, and the new and the news, the people on the news said. Mm -hmm. Nuclear war is about to start. War with Iran. We attacked their fucking chief, of, joint chiefs of staff, yeah. and I was shitting a brick. And my wife's like, "You're fucking anxious, man." And I'm like, "Yeah, I need some fucking weed." <laughs> I gave you. And, you, and, you and, Google, and, I, and I'm like, Google. and I was like, and I contacted. Right? No, I wanted to write about you for a while, and I contacted you on Twitter, but I, did, I just never, I never got around to writing it. Like I, I had writer's block for uh, several years, and uh, that's a whole other story. But I'd been wanting to write about you for a while. And we, I think we, we kind of, I'm only on Twitter, yeah. it's the only social media I do now. But yeah, I came here and, uh, and you invited me in. I wasn't a member, of, because it's a private, at the time it was a private club. I wasn't a member, you invited me in, I said, a journalist, you told me your shit. Uh, we got really fucking high. This is before COVID, so yeah, I used yeah, one yeah. of your bonds. Yeah. And, uh, I, remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that, that's how I, I, I got to, that's how this all started. But this guy, we were talking about 2020, I forgot. That right, was a long right, rant. Yeah. Right, right. No, it's all good, it's all good. You know, and then, hey, at the end of the year, I'm filing a lawsuit, and you're right, you wrote about it and everything, yeah, so it's, yeah. all, it's all good, yeah. it's all good. I, I just wish the state had answered, though. You know, it's disappointing uh, that they asked for 30 more days. So what does it do? When did they ask for the answer? What are we, they got, I'm like, not sure what date. That was is, about is two weeks ago? Because no, I remember it was about two, three. The, I the thought, 20 days was December the 10th. They didn't, they didn't ask the judge for extra days until... 15th, 16th, somewhere around there, right? So I don't know if the judge gives them 30 days, will it be from the 16th or will it be from the 10th? If it's it the 10th, yeah. January 10th uh, is their 30 days. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, don't, I don't so know. So it depends on the, the judge probably must have communicated to them and your lawyer saying, like, yeah, we'll grant the extension. No, I remember I did. It. No, yeah. they did do it. Yeah, he, yeah. he granted a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. so that's customary. Yeah. You know, it's the holidays. But he didn't grant it and say a date. Yeah. He just granted it. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I hope they respond. And from your point of view, I mean, like, you're, you got the strong, in my opinion, you have the strong legal arguments, you're on the strong ground. T t let them, t if they want to take six months to respond, take, like, give me all your fucking God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like Governor Murphy and your lawyers, like, respond. Try to get this dismissed. Let's see, you know what I mean? Take, take, take a year. The you know? funny but thing hit, is. Let them hit you as hard as you can, if, and you will still stand. If you noticed, the day after the election, the day after the vote, the New Jersey Attorney General, I didn't ever say his name right, something Gre Grewal. Oh, uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. I, yes. Yeah, I follow him on social media. I yes. pretty good guy. I, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. know. He's, He's a my progressive guy. guy. Yeah, I, I, I like no, him. No, no, I, I, don't I like, like him. So far, yeah, I like Murphy and his team. Yeah, I don't yeah, see any, any bad things that they yeah, talk yeah, about, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. What does he say? Um, he, he made it clear, though. He made a statement. He himself made a statement that New Jersey Attorney General on 
on November the 4th or 5th, whatever, two days after the election, said something to the effect that, some, I'm going to summarize it, he said that yesterday's vote didn't change anything. Unregulated marijuana is still illegal. At some point, our politicians are going to have to write laws to correct that. And so now how does he respond to my lawsuit where that's what I'm saying? I'm saying, listen, yesterday that, that vote you guys did was a bait and switch because we did not legalize marijuana, which is what everybody thought they were voting for. So he's already on record saying, agreeing with me. So I, I just think it's interesting to see how this, this lawsuit works out. And what will I get out of it? I always have people saying, well, what are you really trying to get out of it? You good question. What? That's a good I, question. What's your I, end game? What's your I, end game? I want inclusion of everybody. Yeah. The things I'm raising in the arguments are being raised so that it, it brings that conversation to include everybody. Do they have to scramble now and figure out how they're going to include people? Or are they going to talk about it? Do I think the judge is just going to throw out the entire question and throw it out? I don't really think so. I think it's going to turn into a big dis discussion and the negotiation yeah, as it should. With, with 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 me, maybe a guy like me, well, maybe some lawyers to get together. Right. I'm not even sure how yeah, it's going to that's, work out. You know what that's called? That that's called the settlement. Conference. Yes. yes. The state's like, look, we don't for whatever reason we don't want to respond. We just don't want to go there. You yeah. know, we want to dedicate our resources to other things. So let's have a settlement conference. So they're going to say, Ed, what do you want? I and your want answer inclusion. is? I want inclusion. You want to be able to sell for other people. Yeah, yeah. Not, you, not you'll, just you'll me, them, though. You'll let them tax Listen, yeah. No, no, no. I know. Listen, all I'm already the deals. Weed. Like my friend. My, my, my friend. Yeah, yeah. My friend. Like, yes. like her who's struggling right now. You know yes. what I mean? Like, like she should be able to like, openly say, like, hey, neighbors, I have weed if you want to buy it. Uh, yes, make it legal yeah. for all. You can, set up, you can set up business regulations, all that. That's the, I don't have a problem with them setting up business regulations. But not business regulations that just excludes everybody, except for the uber rich. Hmm. You know, if, if Johnny down the street decides he wants to grow 20 pounds of weed, and he grows 20 pounds of, say, purple kush, and then he decides, you know, he, he, gets, he gets, you know, 20 pounds out of it, and then he, he wants to trade some of this purple kush to somebody else down the street who also grew some weed. Maybe they grew some OG kush. So you can swap, not swap. Right? That, that should be legal. Bartering weed should be legal. Yeah. Selling it should be legal. Growing it should be legal. Yeah, yeah. It should be treated like a plant. Yeah. You know, like yeah, a, like a plant with tomato. an asterisk, like yeah. a special plant, a yeah. special yeah. plant tax. It, it should, yeah, it should, yeah, it should, yeah. It should, it should be given yeah, special yeah. status and not even be taxed too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, but eventually, that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, but I don't I mean, really care yeah. if it's taxed. To be honest with you, I know a lot of people scream about taxes. I was in prison before. I was in prison before yeah, for marijuana. Yeah, yeah. So from my point of view, taxation instead of incarceration. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I can remember I used to say that. Yeah. I'd be like, man, I wish I could pay. I, yeah, 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 I yeah, wish yeah, I had yeah. the option to yeah. pay the taxes yeah, on that yeah, weed yeah. I got caught with rather yeah. than go to prison for it. Yeah. So, Give them a cut. Essentially. Yeah, yeah. Give them so, a cut. so at this point in my life, if that if that's the trade off, that somehow this marijuana that I'm actually selling has to get taxed, I, 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 I'm i fine with that. Almost anything else is taxed. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, you, you, you can't even go fishing without getting the tax, yeah, you know? Yeah, you yeah, go fishing, you gotta buy a fishing license, yeah, which yeah. is a tax. At the moment, that's the world we live in. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, a guy yeah. with a hammer and a nail. You yeah, know, yeah, he can yeah. damn sure for yeah. like, I mean, this corporate. is trash. You have to pay yeah, for I mean, a license. I mean, this is trash. I mean, there was a revolution fought over tax, yeah, essentially. Yeah. So it's a good, you're in a good, you're in a good spot here. You know what I first battles right here. Yeah, yeah, this is battle two. Revel, whatever, yeah. Yeah, you know what the crazy thing is? Battle trend. Right. The battle trend. I call, I call my fight here the new battle of trend. <laughs> if you Google the new battle yeah. of trend, it pops up yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. talking about nice. marijuana. I like that. You know? And yes, Rico, I'm looking at, yes, I got Sam as an ally now, which is unbelievable. Hmm. You know, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought that was ever possible. I wouldn't have thought I would ever team up with anybody like that. But they did call me. They're going to file an amicus brief. A limited amicus brief. There's Good. a couple things in my uh, yeah, yeah. in my lawsuit that they like, yeah. and that's All what right. that's what their plan yeah. is to follow. So, so, yeah. amicus so this brief. is called gather some allies. Yeah. Not a bad strategy. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, you could probably reach out to some yeah. of the no. nonprofits do right. advocacy work. I had a couple yeah, yeah. lawyers call me, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what they they kind of wanted to know where I was going with yeah. it. Did Let did I actually have a legal team? Yeah. Was I doing it really pro se? Things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. And and to be honest with you, people. I pretty much wrote the outline for this. I wrote the topics, and then I did pass it to a lawyer, 
who has helped me in the past, yeah, yeah. who agreed with a lot yeah, of the things yeah. I said, and he put it in legalese. He yeah, put yeah, my yeah, arguments yeah, in yeah, the legalese. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're representing yourself pro se. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So yeah, it's yeah. out there. Yeah, with help. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So okay. I have help, and that's yeah. happened to me before. I've done yeah, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I get help from other yeah, for lawyers yeah. who like the cause but don't really want to be in the case. Yeah, sure, sure. You know? And but there's the, a lot of lawyers out there who smoke weed. Oh, yeah. I can tell you that for a fact. Oh, yeah. And a lot of lawyers do cocaine as well. Yes, yes, they do. And like, it's the ones who drive the Ferrari in the Porsche, they're the guys doing coke. Yeah. <laughs> and just, I used to work with a guy, he'd bring it in the courtroom in his, right. in his coat pocket. Right. He did jury trials. And the fucking juries love him. They would they would give him millions. Oh my god. They would yeah. give him millions. Yeah. yeah. And he and there's there's several well known attorneys in New Jersey uh, who are who do coke. And mm -hmm. weed is fairly common. So is alcohol. Those are the sad guys. You know, the lawyers at the bar at lunch, those are the fucking guys who are like just in it for the money. Their wives hate them. You know what I mean? There's a lot of lawyers <laughs> like that. So you got a lot of insight on lawyers. Yeah, I did it for 10 years. Yeah. And I worked at a big corporate firm where you do you have to do 2,000 two thousand hours a year to get your bonus. Right. So you, you live there. You know what I mean? You're 90 yeah. hours a week. Like I did it in downtown Newark. Uh, and I lived in downtown New York too. That's mm -hmm. when, as an adult, I got into smoking weed again. I smoked pot in college. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, as you do. You know, we talked yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How when you were a teenager, you know, you were running from the law, and I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm at frat parties, like, yeah, nah, right, yeah. Right, it's like, right. That's not fair. You know, yeah. like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, talk about white privilege or whatever. Like, that's it, and that's not fair. <laughs> so, like, so I'll tell you, like, as white people, what should we be doing? Speaking out, helping you guys. I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. There should be more white people who come here. And this like, is way it's, over. Yeah. As far as here goes, yeah. most of the customers that come here are white. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe 60, 40. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. I, yeah. And, well, and, what I'm saying, I'm reaching. I'm telling. Like, I know a lot of. I know a lot of people like in my, that I smoked with mm -hmm. from uh, my economic background. Right. They go the medical route. Right. For, for their friends, their family, I mean, like they got before their kids go to college, they'll get in the car because they're like, look, in case you get arrested, you at least yeah. have the car, even when they yeah. go away. Right. So that's economic privilege that's going on right now. Right. And I, right. you know, I mean, like, the so what, corporate way. Yeah, yeah, you know? corporate legal way, whatever mm -hmm. it is, you know. Let's say, let's say, I also look at this as, like, I'm fighting for it to be a legal business, but, and I'm fighting for everyone to be able to have a legal business, but I also still look at this as a protest. Well, as a civil yeah. disobedience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And in that sense, that's why I say to myself, I put it out there on the internet that way. So these people who are coming from the internet, most of them realize, like, this guy is fighting for this, this guy is that. You know, they know I have my hashtag out there selling weed like I'm white. People yeah. come to the counter yeah, right yeah, there yeah, and yeah. joke about yeah. it. I gotta tell you, um, that's a, that at first was a little off putting to me. Yeah, and it, I get it is, you. It no, is I, 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 I understand you and, and I agree with you, but for, you know what I mean? Like, like, could I say, like, well, I'm smoking weed like I'm black? You could, but is that me? Is that I? It, I don't it, feel comfortable would, saying that. Right. You know what I mean? Like I'm like that's me being a dick. Right. And and because I've, you, I've you said think, that. Do drunk, you think you know? I was comfortable saying that at first? Yeah, yeah. At okay, first yeah, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, knew I was yeah. pushing buttons. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I knew I was yeah, trying to push yeah. buttons. It's a tactic to get attention. Yes. Yeah, any any attention is good attention. Yep. And yeah. And while it pushed off a few people, yeah, even like yeah, a few editors of newspapers and stuff that had previously been writing about me, kind of like thought that was over the line. And they didn't write about me. But you know what? Sometimes I just, once I go in a direction, I stay with it. I yeah. didn't really think it was wrong. I knew it would catch it would catch traction. And yeah. at this point now, yeah. who's following me are people who are attracted to that. Just like yeah. Black Lives well, Matter. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you, yes. what do you, what does Black Lives Matter think of you? What do you think Well, well Black, I'm saying Black Lives Matter, there are people in Black Lives Matter who, who are paying attention to, to, to this when it comes yeah. to marijuana because yeah. systemic racism this has is a come, racism. is and this an is a big, issue. Big racism. Right, and I'm like, okay, if we had systemic racism, you can talk about the war on drugs, yeah. brought up all this systemic racism, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And let's not even mention what's going on in fucking Mexico. Right. So now, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah. So now, as legalization comes, like, did it just disappear? Yeah, no, yeah. it didn't disappear. Yeah. It didn't. Now we have rich white guys selling weed and everybody else is like, whatever. And, and listen, I have, listen, when I was in prison, I was in prison with white guys. I remember specifically, I don't remember his name, but I specifically was in prison with this guy who got caught on Interstate 80 with like 100 and something pounds of, of weed, weed yeah. from California and yeah, got yeah, caught yeah. Up, in, uh, up in like Bergen County or something. And he was like on my tier and we talked about weed all the time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we thought one day we were going to meet up and link up and do some business yeah. as he was from California yeah. and got caught here in yeah. Jersey. And, like, you know, and we never did. Yeah, but, I can um, tell you why there's so much demand for weed. Like it is so helpful, particularly to people not, I mean, 
I, I'm fortunate that my physical injuries have, have not been that serious, but the ones that I have, which is our bad back and said hip problems, it helps tremendously. Mm -hmm. But what I do know a lot about is psychological issues. I was in, I was in awful stress depression for years. Yeah. Uh, schizophrenia runs in my family. I was, I was going down that road, and a combination of marijuana and magic mushrooms pulled me out of it. You know what I mean? So, so like, you could say it's a party drug, and a lot of that is bullshit we've learned from the media. You know what I mean? We're brainwashed by, like, Fast Times and Richmond High, and, like, you know, oh, it makes you goofy. Well, yeah, it kind of does when you're, like, 19. You know, I started smoking when I was 19. Yeah, and you're 19, yeah, you act like a fucking idiot. You know, maybe maybe Governor Murphy's right. Keep it at 21. But as an adult, I mean, it, if for some people it connects them to God. You know, particularly yep. the magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, Listen, or whatever you want. I remember when I was 19 and 20, I did get giggly. I was more giggly. Yeah, than yeah, I have yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Now, and, and I like indicas now. Yeah, yeah, if I had to pick, a, yeah, yeah. if I had to pick what I was smoking all the time, which yeah. I do, I'm lucky to have that choice that I have so yeah. much weed, I can always pick some good stuff. That, that yes, I pick indicas. I'm yeah. an indica guy, yeah. and. You know, I got, like, right now, I'll show you in a few minutes. I got some Blue Dream over there. I got some Blue Cheese. What else is over there? I got some Sour Sage. Right. Those are all sativas. All right. And they look good. They smell good. I can recognize the better versions of them, the better strains of them. Yeah. But I really rarely pick those to smoke. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'd rather which, do which the, ones you like? I'd rather do the OGs. Yeah. Cushes. Sometimes yeah. the purples. The only thing with purple sometimes, purples sometimes turn into eye candy. You what know? do you mean by that? Meaning that... It looks good, smells good, and all oh, that. Yeah. And you smoke it, it doesn't yeah, do anything yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. And then others, other purples are good indicas, but I don't yeah. know. I, 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 I find that happens to me with purples a lot. Yeah. That it looks good, smells good, but doesn't get me Yeah, high. yeah, I know, you know what you mean. Yeah. You know, so. yeah, you feel like there's something yeah. missing. Uh, what magic mushrooms do you recommend? Uh, well, the I think they're asking you that. The one. first ones that I bought from you were the ones that Terrence, that were developed by Terrence McKenna. And anyone out there who doesn't know who Terrence McKenna is, look him up. He's, he's a brilliant visionary with regards to the benefits of magic mushrooms. But the first ones that I bought from you were peanut, where they're called penis envy. Penis envy. And they're they're the ones that Terrence McKenna uh, developed, or he isolated that strain. Mm -hmm. And they're the most sort of intellectual high, most thinking high. Like you sort of, you're supposed to just lay in your bed in darkness and think about your problems. Or be out in nature, you know. But it's not like it's not like crazy vision, visions or anything like that. And then the second ones I bought recently were different. They were a little bit smaller. I don't know. You had them for a while, maybe about a month or two ago, and they were good. What are the name of those mushrooms again? I would recognize it if I heard it. Which ones? What are the ones right there, right now? No, the the ones that we just had. It was like. Uh, they were rusty whites, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not I, the rusty whites. I had those, though. I did have start those. start with they an M. Good. Oh, I'm having a brain cramp. Yeah. But no, they're good. Yeah, yeah. I've only, I've only tripped eight Maca, times. Maca? Maca? Mika? Uh, ah, I forget the name. But they were all excellent. Like yeah. 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 Different. Each trip is different. I had, yeah. I had the classic bad trip where you take too much and like... I but never you have. had the experience. I never yeah. have. You know, when it comes to mushrooms... Well, then that means you don't need to. You know, it's like you have stuff you have to get out. It just gets out. I know. But I never, I, I never really wanted to like be a mushroom head, do mushrooms all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's a once in a while. Yeah, thing you know when you need it. You know and, you and need even it. in 2020, I only did them twice. Yeah. Actually, three times. Yeah. But New Year's last year, I don't remember if it was New Year's Day or New Day after New Year's. That, that New Year's weekend last year, yeah. I did some mushrooms. I didn't do any again until July. Yeah. And then I went to some festival somewhere and I kind of microdosed. Yeah, yeah. What took you think a little bit. Yeah, nice. I like microdosing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take just a little bit, just to get a little feel yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. you know, especially yeah. if you're like outside. Yeah. And you're outside and like you get the visuals, yeah, you get that whole yeah. feeling, you want to yeah. see everything, all yeah, that. I like yeah. that. I like that feeling. Yeah. You know, um, from microdosing. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you think you think marijuana should be included in the like prohibition as well, or uh, rather the mushrooms? Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, they're the same. They're yeah. the same. They're the same. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a problem with mushrooms. Yeah. You know, I tried. When I lived in Arizona. I tried a couple of things out there too. The cactus juices that somebody gave me. This was like some type of peyote. Yeah, yeah. Did, the Native um, Americans used it for spiritual yeah, purposes. I did. Um, I did something else too. I, I don't remember. I, it, 
This was something I, I remember. It was like a check off on a list of things I tried. Okay. But I don't really remember it. But it was, a, it, I, I want to say mescaline. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. some type of yeah. coyote or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. How was it? How, I hear that's crazy. I don't really remember. I okay. just kind of remember yeah, yeah. being with some people and kind of did. I don't know if that was the side effect. I don't yeah. remember it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I remember yeah. I was in Tucson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was. At yeah. some point, somebody offered it to me, and I kind of was scared about it, and I thought about it, and I remember just doing it. But I don't yeah. remember the effects, I don't remember nothing. Yeah. Other than, I just know I checked that off that I did yeah, that yeah, one yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember I was in I was in Tucson. I remember the whole, t I remember the whole time frame, but I don't remember that experience. You know, like, what, what happened with that? Um, and when I was in Phoenix, somebody gave me some cactus juice and peyote was a shot we had shots of it and again i remember that experience though i remember that experience that i was a, it was a trip and it lasted longer than i wanted to i can remember like a little bit yeah <laughs> I remember, yeah I remember you kind of know yeah it's like, i remember yeah. laying down like oh my god let just go away um but i like i think i i think i liked it yeah. i didn't do it again but I, again it was one of those Check off things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? I'm in, yeah, you're I'm in Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, very spiritual place. Yeah, so yeah and that's was, what they do. And there were these the, the, the dudes I did that with was a was a Mexican Indians. Really? They were Indians. Yeah. Native Americans. Yeah. They're from Mexico. Yeah. But their family at the time were living in Phoenix. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah. Are you following at all? Like what's going on in Mexico? Like with the drug war? I'm, like I'm, basically the cartels are now stronger than the government as yes. well as the Mexican army. Yes. And yep. that's crazy. Yep. And it's like 20, mi 20 miles south of like fucking San Diego. Mm -hmm. Like that's right at the border. Yes. Like no, it's, it's a failed state. Yes. And this is the interesting part. China's getting in there because Trump. Uh, the businesses moved north of the border, so they thought mm -hmm. Trump was going to shut it down. So yeah. all these Chinese companies moved in and right. bought those factories. Right. That's not good. But, and, but this and that's is because of the war he, on drugs. Yeah. That's an unintended consequence of the war on drugs. If you legalize, you know... Well, Mexico just, is talking about doing that as a way of defeating their, uh, their cartels. And yeah. I have to tell you, as a smuggler, a U.S. smuggler, Throughout the 90s, going down to the Mexican border, and when you say Mexican border, you don't actually mean on the border, but going down, going yeah. to states like Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and somewhere California, was where we would go buy cheap weed and bring it back to the East Coast. Yeah. Now, along with the weed was other stuff. Me, myself, I didn't get any of other stuff. I was a trucker, and I stuck with weed. I didn't yeah. want to do nothing yeah, else. Yeah, I was yeah. scared to yeah, get in trouble, yeah. and I had a conscience. Yeah. And that's why they call but, you the weed man, right? Because yep, you only bought yep, weed? Yep, or, uh, yep, weed yep. Man. <laughs> that's kind of funny. These Mexican dudes yeah. actually gave me the name New Jersey Weed yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah. Because okay, first they, Jersey. Yeah, 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 first they were yeah. calling me Jersey. Yeah, and then yeah, I had yeah. one of those offers yeah. one time to, to carry yeah, other yeah. shit. And I was just like, nah, man, just weed, just weed. And then they were like, okay, New Jersey Weed Man, just weed man. Just He's the weed man. Just the only week, what? Only like week. back then, and I had it, and I had a, I had a good relationship with them guys. I wondered what happened in life to them. Yeah, probably you know? they could be. I got they busted, could be and, and here I am. Cell. They could be sitting in jail right now, or they could be back in Mexico, yeah, yeah, yeah. or they could have yeah. a businesses now. I, I kind of wonder if I went yeah. looking for them. If I could all find those people guys. should be set free. Yeah. Anyone with, yeah. a non, I, in my opinion, all nonviolent drug offenders uh, who are in prison, both mm -hmm. federal and state, should be like OB. There's no reason to keep them in there. I Come mean, think back to, to Tucson. Rico, you live in Tucson? I lived on Benson Highway. I don't remember the name of the apartment complex, but it wasn't far from one of them truck stops. There's two truck stops right up the street, too. But I don't remember that. If I had a map in front of me, I could tell you. Um, but anyway, man, this guy... Longer and deeper than I thought it was yeah, going to no, be. Yeah, I'm happy to be But it's all good. I mean, it's like, all I'm good. happy to support your show, you know? So, 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 so he's a regular customer. He's a lawyer. He's a writer. He wrote about my lawsuit. Tonight, I wasn't going to have a guest, and then he came walking in and was like, hey, come on, let's do it. So I here we are. Years. All right, so here we are. So as soon as my counter gets clear over there, I'm going to do the customary thing that I do to all guests. I sell them weed.
because, like I said, this is a protest to me. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think? What do you think about this hashtag? NJ can't get twelve. I think that's right. I mean, how many times have you used jury notification? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. NJ can't get twelve. Yeah, yeah. NJ can't get twelve. How do you know who to pick on your jury? Like, how can you tell if they're going to be sympathetic to your cause? I don't know, man. I've been walking around as, a, as an open piehead for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can look at me. And they think I'm a pie, they think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a you know, a druggie, or whatever yeah, the hell they yeah, think, yeah. I, they, they look at it. And I don't care, I've been, this is the look I want to have anyway, so okay, yeah. I got my... So, that same look that I'm walking down the boardwalk and someone smiles at me and you know they want to say, hey, yeah, dude, you yeah, gotta join yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you just tell them, yeah. The same thing happens when I'm in the, I've been in the, the courtroom yeah. or picking a jury. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. certain people in the crowd as soon as we have eye contact, they smile. Yeah. As soon yeah, as they yeah, act yeah, like yeah. it's like yeah. this, you yeah. know. And like, why is that? Because weed's fucking awesome. Right. And everyone who's ever smoked it, I was like, yeah, that's pretty right. cool. I know no one who's like, oh, I smoked it and I hated it. Yep. Yeah. Well, some like some, some people. I know say, people who don't smoke. Maybe panic. Yeah. Or I'm not yeah, going to yeah. smoke or it Or they anymore. don't need it. Yeah. But I know no one who's like, oh, it's awful. I know lots of people yeah. who say alcohol is like the worst thing that they've ever done, and right. it's legal, and there's more right. billionaires off of it. Yeah. No, it's very crazy, and like. That's part of the reason there's so much social unrest. When you have manifest injustice in the world, in what's supposed to be the, the, the world's leading democracy, the beacon of freedom and liberty, and you have all these people in fucking jail for bullshit laws that were written for racist reasons like 100, you know, 80 years ago. Exactly. Nixon's on tape saying, like, we're going to make marijuana legal. They put the five yeah. people in the hippies in jail. Yeah. yeah and exactly. it's, they're still in fucking jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. get them out. Well, all the drug laws could be traced to that. All, just, yeah, yeah. all the drugs, the entire war on drugs is, 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 is you know, the, the Controlled Substance Act I've written in the past, and I always compare the Controlled, the Controlled Substance Act as the reincarnation of Jim Crow. 100%. With, with a, a, weaker version, yes. a weaker version. A weaker version. But he's fucking back. And he lost He's the fucking back. Moment. Jim Crow, officially in America, yeah, Jim Crow's ghost. supposed to be did, died in nope, the 60s, nope, right? Nope, nope, nope. Free-ish. You guys are free -ish. But then, five years the later, stuff. when the Controlled Substance Act and all that was created, because you, you could say Jim Crow was given a death knell with um, 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 the Civil Rights Act, the... Um, um, the, equal, the Equal Rights Act. Oh, yeah, there's, Act there's, the there's a slew of laws so, on the books meant to help so out killed the, yeah. minorities. Yeah. Oh, no, I used to practice employment law, so I defended mm -hmm. large corporations when they got sued for, for firing people of protected classes. There's plenty right. of laws to help you out. Like, oh, good, we got a law on the books. It's right. all good. Right. No, it's not. I mean, like, come on. Like, where I live, uh, upper middle class neighborhood, 90% white, 10% mm. Asian, 9% Asian, 1% white. I'm not gonna lie, right? right? And uh, it shouldn't be that way, you know. But it is, and it's gonna continue to be like that when you have more bullshit laws. You know what I mean? When the black people who have been selling me for decades are gonna get kicked to the curb, stay in the fucking ghetto. Stay, yeah. We're gonna get rich. Stay in the ghetto. Fuck you. And it amazes me that you're the only one standing up to this that sees it. All the white people see it. All the fucking college professors who read the New York Times, who are liberal. Right. You know, I talk to them. I, these are the people I hang out with. Right. They see it. They don't do shit about it. They tweet right. about it or whatever, you know, on Facebook. But you're here saying, you know what, Governor Murphy, put me in fucking jail. And for for that or for try, that for that end, like, like, <laughs> yeah, like that is like I don't think they can do it like, yeah, yeah. unless they take away jury trials. As far as I'm concerned, All right. the last could they do that? The like, last, that's an interesting legal question. The last no, couple, they can't. no, they, they can't. can't. That's yeah, too yeah. enshrined. They'll try. Yeah. The, last, the last couple trials I've had, I will tell you, talking about looking out the crowd when I'm picking my jury. I believe that there were definitely members of the crowd, of the jury pool that wanted to be on my trial. Like, oh, uh, they help you out. I, I have a minor, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 a similar. Yeah. What happened to OJ? Right. Whatever you think about. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the think OJ they just OJ? The OJ yeah, trial. He's, he's people wanted OJ. to be. Ow. Yeah, but people yeah, wanted to be on the jury. Theory. People to wanted to be on the jury. Oh, why not? People weren't, you know, it's like... Paid. There's a lot of yeah. homeless people in LA, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you get like $10 a day. Because it's so easy to get yeah. off the jury. So you think I've they just watched, liked OJ and let him off? Yeah. I've watched people, because yeah, yeah. I've had trials, jury trials before. So people in the jury pool, there will be people who, you can see right away, they don't yeah, care yeah. about shit. They're lying. They tell yeah, the judge, yeah, 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 I'm Totally, I'm biased. Totally. You know, they'll be like, I got a pimple on my butt, and I need to see the doctor tomorrow, and I need off. Yeah. And the judge will get them off, yeah, yeah. right? And then you got other people there that, 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 that like, you could tell. 
they are not saying nothing. Yeah, they want to be yeah, on this trial. Yeah, yeah. Look they normal. smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see yeah, them yeah. trying to play off. <laughs> they don't want to have reaction to nothing, so yeah. they don't get kicked off by yeah, one yeah, of us. Yeah. And they want to be on the trial. Yeah. And I've noticed the last few times I've gone on the trial that I clearly had more people who liked me than the prosecutor. And I sure, think, yes, yeah, I think yeah. it's gotten to that point yeah. because to I'm To your speak, credit, you're a charming I'm, guy. You're a smart guy. Right. You're charismatic. You know, people like you. You're a cool dude. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. how, you know what I mean? I can be the asshole when I want to. Yeah, yeah. for <laughs> sure. We all have our dark side. We all have our, dark side. We all have our you know. But, I hear you. But no, you're a likable guy. You know, so who, you know. So that's that note. NJ yeah. can't get 12. Yeah. I think on a weed charge. Yeah, yeah. Long, you like, should demand a hearing. Because when they, when they file a motion to dismiss, there should mm -hmm. be an oral argument. Oh, and absolutely. then you can present yeah. your arguments. Oh, and yeah. you should invite the cameras in, and yeah, yeah well, that'll be. There's federal yeah. court. There's no yeah. cameras in federal court, oh, though. Yeah. They, no, but they, I think they're changing that because of the COVID. They do a lot of stuff more in Zoom. You're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so you should yeah, demand, right. be like, let's zoom it out. You know, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that might be your next. Yeah, well, yeah. well, I, I, and think about what you want from. I settlement. do want to reply. I hope they come to you yeah. and say, "Ed, let's settle this. What do you want?" Yeah. And you should have a list of demands ready. Like boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom. Like free the captives. Like yeah. let us sell it. Yeah. You know, um, like let us do the bank. Let us into the banks. You know, whatever. Murphy yeah. wants to start a state bank. That might be an interesting angle to get in there. Mm -hmm. And that's I used, to, I used to settle cases. You gotta you gotta make it. Give them what they want. You know, like, oh, no, like I might have oh, you on my team. I, look, look, I might have you on my team. All right. All right. <laughs> Yeah, right, we'll talk, we'll talk. I'll definitely let you look you can at pay me, it. You can pay me, you can pay me in uh, the green stuff we, over there. <laughs> no problem. I'm a lawyer who accepts this, all kinds of green. I don't, I don't, have, I don't have a problem yeah. with, 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 with partnering with yeah. weed. My know? fee is, uh, I don't know. We'll I gotta, figure it out yeah. later. Yeah. 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 Now, now you have 15 people hitting you up, talking about, I need this guy to represent yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, as soon as my table's clear, we're going to go okay. over there. Yeah, no, I'm in no rush. I'm chilling. All right, I'm so you're yeah, in the yeah. mood for some indica or some sativa? Today. Uh, in the winter, I like indica. Right, indica just chills me, it calms me down, it helps my back, uh, it just mellows me out. Uh, right. Yeah. When I write, I like sativa. It helps me think. It helps me uh, in the summer. You know, I want to exercise, I like sativa. It's, uh, you know, but when I just want to chill, and it's the holidays, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I just want to chill. I am like a nice, deep indica. Perps, I uh, like I like anything purple. See, I smoke like a white dude, right? Like, well, we have, we, I, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You should make a hashtag out of that. Go ahead, sit down. I think it's what this funny. is. I lived in Newark. I used to, I used to buy from a kid who was in a gang. Uh -huh. like, his name was L. That's what he called himself. And. Uh, I, I live in a very nice apartment, you know, dorm and building, be Val Valley Indian Parking, Valley, you know, it was in a very nice apartment, and I have, up my, I have them up in my apartment, I buy like, you know, $200 worth of dime bags off of He'd roll a blunt, <laughs> and I'd smoke out of my glass pipe, a bowl, uh, and we both looked at each other like fucking aliens, you know, like, how does he look at my pipe, like, how does that work, you gotta put your finger in, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you roll a fucking blunt, and it was, it was like, it was nice, you know what yeah, I mean, like, yeah. like, I'm like, I'm a white lawyer, he's like a, he's, he was literally a gang, I forget if he was the blood of the Crips, he wore red. So I would always wear a red tie when I would do it with them, like respect. I'm like, uh, like that's that's uh, you know, but, but that's yeah, but uh, that's how I used to buy weed. And this whole concept of getting to pick out the strain is crazy to me. Like when I was in college, you had weed and then you had kind bud. Kind bud was like good stuff. That was the stuff and that was, there was everything in. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was like swag. Well, see, I and remember was, when you know, I remember when everything came in a little brown envelope. Did you didn't even see it? It was yeah, like a, a yeah, stamp yeah, yeah, envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how or, yeah, it or was, a bag was so happy rolled to get up. Anything, yeah. yeah. So this whole world of picking the strains, yeah. if you want, is like it's crazy. It's so it's so great to be in twenty twenty. I can remember <laughs> in the in the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, I'm aging myself, people. In yeah. the early I'm 80s. I'm 42. How old are you? I'm 56. Be 57. Oh, I guess yeah. you're younger. Yeah, everybody. You look See, weed everybody, is good for you. Yeah, everybody weed thinks I'm really you, younger. Yeah, weed is yeah. good for you. Yeah, no, you look good for your age. Good for so, you. So, in the, in the, when I was a teenager in the late 70s and, and, and I was in, in the young, in the, in, the, in the 1980s, everybody bought weed in these brown envelopes. Yeah. That was it. It was brown yeah, swag. Yeah, yeah. You picked the seeds yeah. out. It was Mexican. Yeah, I remember bullshit. that. Yeah, picking and, the and, seeds and, out. Yeah, oh, man, because it causes impotence. Yeah. Yeah. If you're like, oh, you can smoke the yeah. seeds, you can't get hard. That's yeah, what they remember all yeah, that yeah. shit. Pick it out seeds. <laughs> and then I went in the army and everything, and I came out of there home. Was driving the army? Trucks. There was There was some. We smoked yeah, weed. I smoked weed. I watched like movies up, you know, more and stuff. I think the first time, I don't know if it was the first time I did mushrooms, but I did mushrooms once when I was in Germany. Too. Where were you in the army? I was in um, 
Kaiser Slaughter area. Long okay. story. What did you think of German? Story. I loved it. I had I'm a great part, time. I'm part German. Flute yeah. is a German last name. Yeah, it's a good word for play. I had a great time. I, yeah. I also yeah, said I wanted to go place. back. I never went back. Yeah. Is that the you big know? military base over there? It's next okay. to Ramstein yeah, Air yeah, Base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's long yeah, story. Yeah. the hospital on the mountain that sits over top of Ramstein Air Base. So is that that's like Central Germany? That's it's southern Germany, southern, near the, oh, near the Bavaria? French border. Bavaria, oh. No, not that southern. Yeah. I guess you would call it southeastern Germany. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. it was near the. Oh, oh for, okay, yeah, yeah, that's strategic. That's yes, true, yeah. Yes, it was above France. It was above, uh, above France on the border. You ever go to Parmesan and Saarbrücken yeah. on the border towns. I was France? right there. You ever go to France? This, yeah, I went to yeah, France yeah, quite yeah. a few times. Yeah. I, I spent my no. junior year college in Belgium. Oh, yeah. I traveled all over Europe. I yeah. went to. Yeah. What's you like name? wine? Champagne. I went to. I was yeah, just thinking of that. Champagne. I went to Champagne. How was it? Uh, France, because that's where it's supposedly they. they yeah, yeah, yeah I went from. to some, some big winery. It was a tour yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, but those were the things that American soldiers did. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah have fun, travel around. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, did I, did, yeah. I did a few things. I I actually enjoyed my time when I was in the, in the army. And I was in Germany. Yeah, that's what I, I did heard. the weekend things. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You know, I can remember jumping in a car, the little BMW, flying yeah, yeah, yeah. down the the yeah. the the. It's, the, the it's just cool off. living in a foreign country. Yeah. When you're yeah, young, it's great. Good to be in your 20s and to be in Europe. Back then, I think it's yeah. changed a little bit today. I don't I think, think it's the, America the is as much like. Yeah. The dollar is And a dollar, a dollar is, uh, is kind of equal to the, the euro now, or, or closer yeah, yeah, yeah. than it used to be. Because I can remember when I was there, it was like three or four to one, something like uh, that. I don't remember. The, I don't remember yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. what it was. Belgium, when I was there, Belgium was a very favorable exchange rate. You get a yeah. you could get a beer for like fifty cents. Yeah, and that's it was what I'm fantastic saying. beer. Oh. I lived in the town where they made uh, Stella, and it was awesome. Oh. Yeah. I went to Oktoberfest in Germany. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, I I I actually well I was there in October, so. I didn't go down to Bavaria, all in the bottle, and go to big like ones. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, when okay. I was in yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go down there, but the, the town that we were in yeah, yeah. had their own. I yeah, think yeah. the name of the town was Quidersbach. All right. And they had this 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 Oktoberfest that yeah, lasted yeah, yeah. for a week, and all the bars and everybody yeah. participated, and yeah. there was people drunk in the streets yeah, and all that yeah, yeah. shit. But it was great, though. I had a great time. Yeah. Hey, anyway, we're at this part of the show where I'm going right. to go Let's act do it. like I'm selling weed like I'm white. I'm going to turn my camera around. Last week I turned this camera around and I did not focus it, so this week I'll make sure I get a good shot. This is the distance shot, y'all. The YouTube version and all that, they're going to have a better shot because I can't move this whole laptop. It's not I can't move this desk. <coughs> all right, Kev. Come on over to my desk here. To my... display case so you've been here before you know how I work it yeah. so most of the things in the drawers right there are already bagged up over there anything you see down here I'll pick it up pull it out you can smell it right here and I'll grab it over there all right uh, so before I was here I bought a quarter so I think I'll just pick up another eighth uh, something for like 30 bucks maybe what are you talking about like the hold on, hold on. You're my guest today, so uh, even though I'm selling it, uh, you're not actually exchanging money right hold now. Hold on, I want to yeah, make I want to make it official as like an act of civil disobedience right, there and support. You go. For me. So you like that's support. Like, you as go. a lawyer, like that's like I want to pay. There I believe in paying for what you get, so you can you can you can cut that up any way you want. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, have you done these? No, I have. These Wonka bars. Oh, uh, Man, you gotta try these Wonka bars. All right. This is an edible person. Just right. go for it. How many do you eat? How does this work? This is divided like a candy bar, like a Hershey bar. It has the scored. Okay. This has seven rows and three columns, so 21 pieces. Okay. You only need like two pieces. Okay. And just see where that puts you. Okay. You know, All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, a sativa or an indica? Uh, I'm thinking sativa. Right, sativa. Let's try out this new dream. Sometimes. Sometimes I use a vaporizer. Uh, for many years, I only used a vaporizer. I really like that. And, and now I, I like to smoke it. It's a little less intense. Uh, and I find it mellows you out. 
I might start rolling with tobacco too. That's how they do it in Europe. And it's nice. It's a little different now. I don't yeah. do tobacco. I can't yeah, do tobacco. Yeah, yeah. Take a look down there. That's some silver fox from Indica. Sorry, guys. I used to work for a lawyer whose nickname was Silver Fox. He had all gray hair. Hey, maybe it's named after him. Could be. Could be. He was a drinker. <laughs> the Silver the Fox. Yeah, yeah. yeah was... uh, silver Fox. Good dude. Looks better with the light on. There we go. Magnifying glass, I like that. I'm a coin collector, so I use a magnifying glass to look at coins. I look at a button. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, I know. I, I like crystals free. there. Don't get me wrong. I like that. That's what I'm smoking now, right down there. All right. So what's it called? Oh, Silver Fox. All right. Silver I will fox. think of my buddy, the Silver Fox, uh, every time I smoke it up. All right. Now, you people who are going to come in here in the next day or two. This silver fox is going to fly out of here now because I'm talking about it. So you better get in here early. I'll let you, I'll, I'll <laughs> let you know what I think about it, but it looks, Shoot. Uh, it looks pretty good. I, a whole, I thought I had a whole bunch of them in here. Oh, here's one. Here's two. I only got a couple left. Only a couple left. What sells the best? I'm curious. And what do there are people 18 like? flavors here, people. 18. 18 flavors. But do you observe any trends in terms of like... You, could, you know, that might be... No, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. nice. That's, that's Silver Fox. Fox. Alright. There we go. Uh, that might be one way for them to let you in the business. You could serve as a consultant to the corporation. <laughs> no, I am serious. Right, because they would pay like they pay consultants like thousands of dollars or hours to write they strategic could, reports and these kind of things. You know like, what? You could they do, could that. do that. You could observe the cannabis industry. If you they know. wanted to. Say but that again. They could do that now if they wanted to. Yeah. Um, but I want ownership. That's really what I want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you don't like, want to be the face of. Be, yeah. yeah, I could be the face of something and like. Sure. You know, I'm the most. Rec I think I'm yeah, one yeah. of the most recognizable faces in New Jersey as far as marijuana. You've been goes. at it. You, yeah. you have what they call first mover advantage. Business world. I was a finance major. You were the first mover in this area of weed should be legal. Did they put you in jail Probably. for running commercials saying weed should yes. be legal? Yep. That's bullshit. Yep. Did you sue them for I that? Got, they got the, the the state officials who did it had granted immunity. Who did and that? that was a judge in uh, district court in in. Uh, but first of all, what time period was that? Early two thousands. Two thousand. Yep. Bullshit. First, Do you still have those commercials? He, he, yes. Yeah. Put those up on social media. So I went to jail for that. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I could do that. How long did they put you in jail for? Five months. And, and what and, were the charges? Um, it was it was supposed to be a parole violation, and the charge was um, advocating criminal activity. Did you add, did and there was no charge. There's no number. There's no two C. That there was nothing. Did, what, did you make a free speech argument? Yes. What did they say yes. to that? I won. What did they say? I, that's how I won. I won on free speech. But you were still prison. in jail for five years. Yes. My that, and that goes down as as a prisoner rights case. I am still right now. I see oh, it all the time. You're on parole. I'm limited. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm linked you, all the time. Yeah. My case cited. is linked. It's called cited. 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 Yeah, my yeah, case yeah. is cited all the time with prisoners now. So you made case law. I made As a case lawyer, law. you made case yeah, law. Yeah, and I, and I would say law. the right direction. And a, and, Do you know how many and, people have gotten out of jail have cited I, that? I, I that know, would be interesting. I know. I've looked at appeals. Yeah, and I put yeah. my name in. Like in. Uh, Send with, me the name of that case and like the year. You can see how many people use it. It is used by prisoners and petitions for habeas corpus. Did you have to appeal or was it the trial court decision? Or was it the appellate division? No, no, it, no it, was, it, was, it was district court. District court. Oh, I federal court. Federal court. court. Okay, I was a, a habeas court. Oh, it's an interesting case. If you're, yeah, if you're yeah, a lawyer, you're yeah, a lawyer, yeah, so no, it's an lawyer. interesting case. So I loved law school. Yes. I hated practicing law. So okay. like talking about case law and like like oh, this, yeah, I yeah, like. No. Like representing, you know, Honeywell or Goldman Sachs for $300 an hour. I the name of that case, like that. if y'all want to look it up, is Fortune. They use my last name. Fortune versus ISP. What does ISP stand for? Intensive Supervision Parole. Uh, okay. I was in a parole program called gotcha. ISP in New Jersey. Gotcha. And they put me in jail for making those commercials. <laughs> yeah. And they put me in Burlington County Jail with the intention of sending me back to prison. And I wrote a prof say, 
um, uh, writ of habeas corpus, and I sent it to federal court. Mm -hmm. And the federal judge, Judge Irenas, I sent it directly to Judge Irenas because I read about him doing free speech case. I mean, the First Amendment cases before yeah, yeah. I knew he was doing First Amendment cases. So I sent it to him. He sends me a letter back, which I thought at the time was nasty, but he sent me a letter back at the time saying if I want to file a complaint, the proper place to file the complaint is with the clerk, the, the clerk, the federal clerk. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I was okay. like, ah, oh, man, you know, like, fuck, man. Like, yeah, right, yeah. I gotta do this again. Yeah. You know, I was in jail. So I'm like, ah, oh, man. Jailhouse lawyer. Jailhouse right. lawyer. I was like, ah. Yeah. And then the next day, because yeah. I didn't send it to yeah, him, yeah. a letter from the federal court comes. Yeah. And it's a docket number. That's crazy. So the judge gave it, put it to, it, yeah. sent it to the, the, to the court clerk. And the clerk, they docketed yeah. it. And, they, and, and it was Judge Irenas. Judge Irenas had the case, okay. right? Okay. Well, this is this down here? This down was in, in district court in Camden. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so the judge that I was actually mailing it to actually got the case too. Like, That's crazy. Talk about uh, yeah. uh, shopping for Beth. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because I had read a couple of his other First Amendment cases. I yeah. kind of knew he was, he did he was doing First Amendment cases and he was making. Okay. Yeah. So, smart. So, smart. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I yeah. mailed it to him. I didn't realize. No, that wasn't the proper way to do it, but well, that's yeah, why well, I did. But your person, it you're in fucking out. jail. You don't have to follow the procedure. And, and it yeah. worked, though. Have, have you gone right? to any and of the law? And then he ruled in my favor. Good. He, he, he good demanded case, jurisdiction. That the biggest part of the case, it took five months for him to get me out, but the biggest part of the case was the state of New Jersey sent the attorney general to argue that he didn't have jurisdiction, that this was a state case. So he said... Brief it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he made him write a brief and he gave him 25 days to do it. The yeah. 25 days, they didn't make the 25 days. And he gave like, like they're doing here. Yes, and he gave, he gave him 20 more days. At 45 days out, we read the brief. Yeah. And by that point, though, um, 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 the ACLU had got involved. Good for, good for them. Good and as they should. The Greenwall Public right. Action. Yeah, there were two other of, cases. There's a lot of non pub, yeah. Public. Okay. They came in to help. I went, hey, what's up, man? We're right in the middle of this uh, podcast, oh, right, but right, I got right. you in just a minute. I got you. We're going. That's the next step. <laughs> um, right. But they came in, yeah, yeah. and long story short, I got freed. I got released. Yeah. And I made case yeah. law. Yeah. It's Fortune versus ISP. Right, if you Google that, that, you'll find it. You'll find numerous references yeah. to it. Other people use the case as a free speech prisoner case. Have you gone to any of the law schools in New Jersey? Because they all have like law clinics that kind of take on interesting cases. Like I went to Seton no, Hall, no, I and I, I could think of some of the professors there who would be interested. Wait, I'm ready to, to, they I'm should. I'm ready to yeah, they, the they make like two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, and I'm it's a fucking easy question. job. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, lawyer you know, the fuck up. Okay, so let me answer. I have spoke in, at Temple used to, you know, yeah, at Temple, yeah. Rutgers, Rutgers, I think. Rutgers, Rutgers Newark or Rutgers Newark? Okay. Rutgers Very, Newark yeah. with, uh, what's his name? Um, 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 um. Professor who was in charge of ACLU recently. I don't know why I'm having a brain cramp right now. Yeah. I can't think of it. But, uh, but a well regarded, yeah. Yeah. you know, I've, liberal I've, law I've, professor I've, at Rutgers. Rutgers I've, Newark has a I've long history Rutgers, of helping though. liberal causes. Okay. I've done yeah. New Brunswick. You know, yeah. some, some okay. like more than yeah. once I was invited yeah. to speak there. But the Rutgers, it was a law class yeah. twice, and then in um, in New Jersey, in, uh, in in Philly at Temple, it was a law class too. Yeah. Um, and right here at Widener, yeah. at, uh, uh, you know who did it? Mayor Gasora is professor over so there. Yeah. Yeah. So prior to him yeah. being mayor yeah. and all that, he invited me to speak yeah. to, to two of his classes. <laughs> yeah. What did the law students think of you? And well, I'm a pro se guy because yeah. I'm a pro se yeah. guy. They get to speak to lawyers, they get to speak to prosecutor type yeah. lawyers, yeah. and civil yeah. lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. I have a whole different class of person. Yeah. I'm a yeah. pro se guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know my the rules for yeah. yeah. So, so, so yeah. I, it, it, yeah. it was, yeah. I think that overshadowed the fact that I'm a weed man though. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, it's not like yeah, it's a pro-C guy. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's like he's the weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you gotta be like, listen to what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. This is this is like my you know, legal argument work. This is the this is a tr this is a manifest tragedy in what should be a democracy. You know what I mean? Like you guys are fucking lawyers. Do right, something about right. it. Don't don't just go out there and get fucking Porsches. Like, they're use they're a young. Yeah. To fucking do something. Yeah. They're young, but a lot of them. I don't know if they change, but you know, weed is a common thing now. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna All right, thank you. we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that, man. Right. Thank you. And I sat here and got baked. That yeah, I mean, that smoke as did was I. actually that, pretty, that hit me pretty. Yeah, hard. it was pretty good. Well. It was nice. Thank you. But yeah, here you go. Imagine that, man. Come on the show, you get compensated with some smoke. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, uh, 
And an edible, I think. Did I give you, you one You did. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you thank go. you. Throw it in the bag. Thank you very much. All right, man. Yo, shout out yeah. to the audience. Tell them where they can find you, find your writing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, my name is Kevin Flug. Um, I'm a lawyer and a gonzo legal journalist, and I write on uh, medium.com. Spell your name real fast. Oh, it's uh, P as in Peter, F as in Fred, L U G. Flug. It's the German word for plow. My first name's Kevin. Thank you. There you go. You can Google him and find him. All right. Tell them to five stars on Apple and subscribe on YouTube also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. For the people here. Yo, check us out on Apple. Please, on Apple Podcasts, give us five stars. You know, YouTube, and share this YouTube. And comment on YouTube. I'm a big fan. I, I spent a lot of time, during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time on YouTube. And if I like a video, I say, hey, like, thanks for doing it, like, great stuff. And that helps them. That, like, feeds the algorithm. Now, this is a topic for another show, Ed, but I can almost guarantee you that you are shadow banned on Google and that the algorithm disfavors you. I know for a fact that you're shadow banned and disfavored by the algorithm on Twitter. Your main tweet that you have bumped to the top, mm -hmm. every time I like it, they remove the like. I've oh, done it. Wow. I've done it about fifty fucking times. The one where it says I'm gonna start. No, you know why? The guy's holding a gun. Uh, so that's their policy. But it's like you're. But but like you have a right to be angry. And why does fucking Hollywood get to use that and put it in fucking of our children? And a civil rights activist does not get to use that same image. Yeah. That's an interesting argument. Yeah, yeah. But it's bullshit. But you are you. I mean, like you know, your media people are here telling you like shout it out to you. You know, like click like. I can tell you, the big tech giants are fucking you too. I'd like this. I'd like I'd, let's let's have a show about this because yeah. you're not the first one that told yeah, me yeah. that was no, shadow, it's, shadow it's for sure. it's for sure. And I remember yeah, I yeah. googled. Yeah, and now think about band. why are they doing that? They, who, are, who are they helping? Yeah, they the told government, me the corporation. They told the me that half of my hashtags yeah. are shadow banned. Yeah. And that yeah. was the first time I ever heard yeah. of shadow ban. Yeah. Now I do yeah. know no, and I no, do understand are. it, but yeah, why? Yeah. But why? And why remember, you asked. I wrote an article about you, and you said like, "How are the stats?" And I told you, and you're like, "Oh, I would have thought I'd done better." Yeah, yeah, because the shadow medium doesn't favor it either. Yeah, because it's civil disobedience. It's breaking the law. Well, I you noticed. Want to hear something really yeah. crazy? Over the years here in New Jersey, I cannot complain about media attention. I've I could practically fart and that's some true. My, yeah, some of my rights you. about yeah, that's it, right? true. Yeah, because until been this here. last year, until this last year, look at some of the press that I've oh, received COVID. in different Everyone's parts. Looking at COVID. Yeah. Wow. In different parts of the country, because I came out against legalization in New Jersey, oh, the way it's being, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the big yeah, yeah, yeah. media companies here yeah. are for it. The big media companies sure. here are for it. Because yeah. it's um, all club. Look at, it's look all club. He's the same lawyer. NJ same Insider is NJ.com. NJ.com has written about, especially their yeah, opinion yeah, yeah, yeah. pages. They have written about me still, so I, I'm not knocking all of NJ.com. But say NJ, NJ, uh, uh, in the the Cannabis Insider. The Cannabis Insider is yeah. designed that that the section was for, right. For, for, right, right. Yeah, lawyers, well, lobbyists, but I'm talking yeah. all this black market stuff, yeah, and inclusion, yeah. and all yeah. that. And that's not who they are catering yeah, to, yeah. and they're getting their advertisements yeah. for, and this yeah. and the other. All their yeah. guests and big time guys. You got to yeah. find the liberal media. There, it's, yeah. It is out there. Yeah. ProPublica, ACLU. Yeah, 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 there, yeah. I get, I get, yeah. I get my media attention. Black lives matter too. Yeah, I get my media attention. I get social media sharing me too. So, yeah, you should get more. Yeah, this yeah. should be a front page. This should be the headline in the Star Ledger. Maybe. Well, they try to. This should be a headline in Star no. Ledger. Your court if, case. If they ever show up and yeah. actually arrest me, which they might, I don't know. Yeah, yeah they, they have, have to. Yeah. They can't let this go. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. They, they to, might get you on a technicality. That. They might be like, oh no, you know what I mean? Like they might do it as a pretext, and they'll tell the media don't cover it. I don't know. We'll see. Know. Yeah. Anyway, right, we're out of here. We went too long anyway. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's good, man. It worked out, man. It's going to be a whole other thing. Jersey beat, man. Superhero to his God. Just I want to fight for the right to cite him. I told him, indicted and choked him. Every time he battled and spoke of him. Politicians getting at him with them government posters. Judges with jokers. Do the laws refuse to uphold him. Only made the weed man stronger. He's grew with exposure. Refusing his votes. Every time he plead a proposal. Mary Jane, she ain't bad. She's just a league with a smoke. Cross the religion. Roots come from Buffalo soldiers. Now they want to jail the weed man because he practices both. Taking advantages over. Watch a rap, but he blow. When this thing hit the radio, we gon' smash him by soldiers. They gon' learn how to court system. Badger that fortune, he took his license and his truck. It cost him a fortune. Stand up for your life, 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 life. Look up in the sky, some bird is a plane. It's the new we got blocks, so got lots of chicken, uh -huh. got mac and cheese, ace and houses in the kitchen. You try smoke, I'm down. You try eat, hell 
Now let me show everybody now where we hey, be. Yo, where you be at? We at the joint. What? The weed man's joint. Who? If your mama so sold the ass, come, come yo, along. Stop playing Got what you son. want. Got what you need. That's right. Shake your wings and fry those weed. Yo, where is this place? Three, at? Two, two, two.